Hey guys, Smooth Comics here, back at another video. Do want to talk about, about uh, a theme versus a message. A lot of people don't know the difference between having a theme in your show, having a message in your show. A theme, essentially, no, no, let's talk about a message first. A message is usually a specific instruction. Like you see the anti-drug commercials, don't do drugs, kids. That's a message. That's a specific instruction. The creator is telling you to do a specific thing. Hey, don't do drugs. That, that's just, just a flat out statement, direction. That's the whole message. A theme is completely different. A theme is just the results of a subject matter. Regardless if it is right or wrong. Regardless, let, let's... Example of this is the Captain America movies. It has a lot of political themes in them, but not really messages. Like the theme in Captain America Civil War was was grounded in uh, where the government oversteps its boundaries of uh, civil liberties. Like the whole thing was controlling enhanced individuals, how if you have powers, you just sign up the Soviet Accords, Soviet Accords or something. Now, that's a pretty heavy-handed theme, but it's not really a message. And you need to know the difference between a theme and a message are not the same. A message is a specific instruction. A theme is not specific instruction. And this is something you need to understand. Now, Whenever I make these videos, people say you don't really talk much. You mostly just focus on the art. I'm going to keep it real. I mostly make these videos to show that I am working on the project. That's the real reason I make these videos. I want to bring up the themes of Shinobi Switch. Shinobi Switch has gone through many changes in development since I started making them in college. When I first made the character, it was, it was meant to test my art skills. And over time, kind of evolved. I wanted him... I got attacked by SJWs and stuff. I wanted to, to make him an anti-LGBT character. And then I realized, nah. Nah, it's just too hard to work. Then I realized that he worked better as... The character works better as a vague force of nature. So. Switch to Gender Ninja doesn't have a message it just has themes but you need to know the difference between a theme and a message the, a theme is just showing you the results of a subject matter let's say you have a theme like a good example of this is uh, the in the Saiyan saga of Dragon Ball Z it has a theme of nature versus nurture. We see Goku's Saiyan nature versus his earthling nurture. And we see those themes go head to head when, when Vegeta fights Goku. Now, the funny thing about this is that we see the, the Saiyan who's trained his whole life to get what he wants on Earth. Who's trained his whole life to get strong versus the Saiyan who was just born an elite. So you get this theme of of I was born superior because of nature. And while Goku's saying now he's superior because of his nurture and, and training and working as hard as you can. So which is superior. Now at the end, now in the end, Vegeta definitively won the fight when he went great AP. Vegeta was getting his butt kicked until he went grade 8. And you can say, okay, nature wins. So here's the thing. Goku's friends jumped in to help him. And due to Vegeta's nature, he killed his friend. He killed Nappa because he was no longer of use to him. So in a way, Goku's, uh, in a way, Vegeta's say in na nature came back to bite him in the butt since he killed his only ally which could have been helpful when he was getting jumped so that see that's a theme that's not a, a message is it outright saying 
that nature is better than nurture is it saying all right saying that nurture is better than nature no it's just showing the results of this subject matter that's how you handle a theme these are just the inevitable results of this subject matter Now, I think Switch Gender Ninja works better as an open for interpretation character. Switch in general works better as a object, as an a vague force of nature. The exact specifics of the character. Switch whole thing is that he comes from an ancient society of gender shifters who wipe each other out in a civil war and wants to stop those who steal their technology. That type of theme, it works well for forces of nature. Characters like, like Aquaman could be seen as a force of nature type character. You come from a society of people. Like Aquaman is a character who's kind of similar. He comes from a society of people who breathe underwater. And they're basically just environmental activists. That's what they come down to. They're all just environmental activists. And Ocean Master is an extremist environmentalist who wanted to destroy everything. That's what it all came down to. Was... But here's the thing. That's not really a message. That's just a theme. See that? You need to be able to know the difference. Hmm. Into it, where it's a group. So, I want you guys to say in the comments if you think Switch to Gen Danger works better as kind of an open for interpretation. I made a poll earlier, so I said therapeutic. I don't know why I said therapeutic. I guess I wasn't thinking. Open, I meant open for interpretation type character. I just want you guys to tell me in the comments what you think. See you guys. Like, subscribe. See you guys later.